This is the new hive, the real hive. My friends, this is the best hive. It is run by our two very bestest. Eight plus one, fantastic. Being completely useless in a coma. Two ones, barely holding it together as he tries to keep the unwashed masses of 50 boops that we have here alive and and almost well. Maybe sort of well. And congratulations to Drunken Barbarian 8211 for realizing the significance of our two uh, not complete idiots. Really good guys. Names. Uh, well, well, 8 plus 1 is a little bit of an idiot. Of course, it's November 9th. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget November 9th! So a Fogman approaches. Two ones is gonna take him out, but it, it, you might have noticed uh, there's been a bit of an issue that occurred previously. All of our boops got got into it with some of the locals. Uh, two ones take care of that. And now we have lots of boops that are just missing boop parts. So step one of today's plan. Acquire boop parts. Step two is turn this, this lame old hive into the mega hive, the best hive that it can possibly be. Be the hive that you wish to see in the world. Go boops, go and prosper. Uh, ooh, ooh, stop, stop running away, please. Please, we need you to keep everybody alive, two ones. You, you are our only hope, OB two ones Kenobi. All right, so the first part of the plan is probably pretty important. We have all of these boops and we need them to be able-bodied. Uh, so eight plus one, you're, you're gonna have to go and do that because two ones, we need him here. We need him to keep people alive. Eight plus one, put that down, ignore that job for now. You're gonna take all of these little sticks that all of these fog boys brought here and you're gonna go sell them in exchange for some boot parts. Mismatched, I'm sure, but it's, it's gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with what we got. All right, that that should be enough to trade for a few. We've got a little money in the bank. Hope hopefully you survive. Uh, go down, go down here. Are you gonna be able to make it that far? Uh, this is questionable. But I, I the thing is, I can't leave the boops unattended. So eight plus one, you're gonna have to roll the dice here. Ignore the cries and keep going. <laughs> They are, they are unimportant, I promise. You have a mission, a holy mission, to set up the new hive that will enlighten the fog. Oh, hold up, hold up, how, how did you get in here? Have you been here this whole time? We're gonna have to go take, take you to the city hall, get your name legally changed. This is, this is just too much to deal with. All right, eight plus one made it to Mongrel, at least by sneaking and uh, two ones is in the process of trying to keep all these boops alive. We've locked some of the boops in a room. Uh, you don't, do not run off. That's really scaring me that they have this tendency to run off. Uh, but we're gonna lock the rest of these, uh, these boops in here. And then just, you know, <laughs> ignore them and hope they survive. Okay, all the boops are locked up. Uh, two ones, you're, you're getting locked up too in here. Uh, if, if we need to bring you out <laughs> for any reason, I'm sure, uh, we can, we can address that problem. When it, the, the bridge, the comp, the, English, English not, not good, English hard. Uh, okay, so let's sell all this stuff off so we can kind of lighten the load on 8 plus 1 and maybe give them a better chance of making it all the way down back to uh, Western Knife Territory to buy some spare boot parts. So down to Trope we go to buy some bears. So down to Trope we go to buy some spare boot parts. Okay, surprisingly, 8 plus 1 had like no problems getting down here. He's not even that fast of a fella. Uh, so that is awesome, but here is the boot part store. I need to I need to repair my boops. Show me your goods, man. Okay. Uh, we definitely have some missing legs, but we are not getting none of the standard or specialist, none of that. Shoddy, that's not in prototype. Prototype is what we're looking for. That's all we're getting. Boops, you're gonna have to be satisfied with that. Okay, uh, eight plus one. New task. Uh <laughs> Survive the journey back. Oh, oh, oh no, the boops are leaking. Two ones, please. How did they get out of there? Other than, you know, maybe just clipping because there are way too many of them in there. Uh, okay, two ones, please save our boops. Our sweet, supple boops. Okay, uh, two ones. Ah, you're unconscious again. Okay, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, emergency boop reserves. 
Oh no! They're making their way off with some of our boots. We cannot have that. Get back, ASAP! You are needed, our... our <laughs> I was about to say fearless leader, but he is, he is not... He is not fearless for sure. Prone to passing out and just letting two ones take care of it. And two ones right now is passed out himself, so I don't know what to do! Okay. Crisis averted. Uh... <laughs> Oh goodness, this is gonna be a lot. Why don't we get all of the boops inside? Can we get all the boops inside the big building and, and we'll take it from there? All boops in. All boops in! <sighs> you just you just have no idea how how draining all this kitten boop wrangling is. No, no go let two ones take care of it. Putting you on hold. Please. Please just get inside and be safe. Wait for our leader to get back, and then we'll start doing things. Okay? Just, just, just survive. That's your only job right now. Okay, we've created a very new and unique situation. Two ones. Oh no. Uh, we have locked the Fogmen in with us. We're not locked in with you, Fogmen. You're locked in with the Boops. You know, just out of curiosity, while we're waiting on eight plus one to get his sweet butt home. Uh, I wonder what our boop stats look like. Uh, so there is a strong boy here. And some melee defense uh, <laughs> imbalances here. I notice all of them seem to have a lot more melee defense than. Oh goodness, what's happening over here? Eight plus one. What is what is what is coming after you? Nothing. False alarm. Get your shit together. Some real tough boys. It looks like. Ooh. Oh, hold on, this guy has 12. Oh, uh, makes sense that he has 12 toughness. He he lost a whole leg, this boop. You know what? Well, the, you're you're going to be getting a, a new leg here pretty soon, I bet. Uh, oh. <laughs> Maybe an arm for you. I love your face, by the way. It's so cute. Uh, I look away for a minute, and, and you're on the back of some... Not even a... Not even a... Fog boy! He's just a regular old cannibal. Come on. Come on, goat. Be the goat. Take out these cannibals and set us free! I, I, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Alright, I tell you what, I've come up with a plan. You don't belong here, clearly. Uh, so you're gonna have to earn your keep, good sir. You are now on a mission. Uh, you are on a mission to go and save 8 plus 1. Uh, put that boot down. Don't dirty him. Ooh, that sound effect. Okay, get on out of here. Uh, lock the door behind you. And track down 8 plus 1. Oh, oh no. Save this absolute loser of a leader. Uh, good news is it seems like all of those uh, cannibally and murderful people have just uh, just left. So I think we're good to go. Alright. Take him home. Oh, oh no. Uh, 7 miles an hour might not be enough to get us home. Uh, how do these boops keep getting out? This is, this is the absolute worst. Okay. I'm trusting you guys. Oh! That sound effect. It is getting better and better every time. Now everybody back inside. No exceptions. All right, we had to sneak all through the night, but we're about back home. And it looks like there's a fog boy banging on the, uh, banging on the door. So two ones, time to show him, uh, show him what castle doctrine is. Ooh, get wrecked. No, stop running off. Boops, back inside. Oh, this is every single time. Every single time. Okay, no, no, please, please, please let us be. Please let us be. Okay, good news. Boss is home. Yay, celebrate. All right, now that that's over, I have some bad news for you, buddy. For being incongruent with the new hive and thus bad for the hive beep i am sentencing you to summer camp beep you can hand in your fish and big shtick to beep and make your way to summer camp all right time for some free admittance there buddy oh, <laughs> oh man sucks to suck ouchies well have fun with your new life Anywho, time to distribute some boop parts. I see one here that could use some good parts. 
Okay, I can't be 100% sure, but it looks like everybody has their right arms, which, you know, good for, for special times, I guess? Uh, still got a few uh, missing boot parts, but, but we'll take care of those eventually. We'll get around to it. But time to start making this new hive a schnazzier place. All right, now, uh, there's too many boops downstairs, so... Uh, <laughs> so I guess research shall be done upstairs, out in the open. They're gonna be mixing mustard with ketchup and thinking it's science. I just, I love watching this. This is beautiful. I love it. Why are you fighting? Why is the door open? Oh my goodness! I can never trust these boops. You guys are just chill. Put that, put that boop down, beep. So this, this research bench, lovely, fantastic. Um, however, we don't have a lot of money. We need to go buy, like, books and stuff for the boops to learn to be literate. Uh, well, not, they, they don't, okay, what, what are you doing, man? Stop. So I'm thinking our, our best path to literacy is, is to not trust the boops. The boops cannot be given this kind of a job. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to hope that we can keep these doors locked, keep these boops inside, where they won't get just absolutely bonked in the head until they are eaten alive, uh, which is sadly not as ridiculous of a thing as it sounds uh, like I am saying words in an order that almost resembles English. The real plan, the only trustworthy, uh, the, the hiver that we have is two ones. So two ones is gonna go out on an adventure to make money, get books, bring them back, and then you boops, you boops, gonna have to learn how to read them. This, I think we have permanently <laughs> destroyed these doors. Uh, lock that door. Stay. And two ones, time to go explore the world. Alright, two ones is swimming up to this old warehouse. Hopefully we can find some good stuff to sell in exchange for books! Everybody's favorite knowledge. Two ones, you're on an epic journey, an epic quest for book money. Okay, uh, oof. Oof. Someone's gonna start messing someone up. Well, this this looks good. This looks like uh, two ones. Good job. You are the only you are the only little hive boy that I can I can trust amongst all of these boops. And eight plus one, honestly, we 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 know what he's like. We we know. Beep, beep's a good boy, but beep's beep's busy being good boy. So two ones. Thank you for keeping things running. Uh, the, go, go sell that stuff, buy some books, and get back there. So, uh, uh, two ones is is dealing with some uh, some stuff on the way back. And uh, speaking of stuff, what's happening here? Huh? All right, two ones made it to a hive trader. Let's uh, let's offload the stuff that we don't want. This and this and ooh, we're gonna have to. Do we want this? Do we want bolts? I mean, yeah. Uh, do you have any books? I mean, I don't expect the hive to have loads of books, but maybe some. Uh, drugs? No, that's bad. Don't do drugs. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go to Mongrel to get some books, I think. <gasps> Mongrel actually has books, and they are expensive. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh... Anywhere else we can shop for books here? Tech workshop? Tech workshop should have books, right? That would make sense. How can you technology without the book? Oh, they are the hookup for literature. All right, um, and we are broke. Oh my goodness, that was all our money. Um, two ones, you, you might be doing a couple more of those expeditions for, for cash money, good sir. All right, and two ones is home and there are lots of baddies out here. I think I gotta just bring them inside, right? Uh, boop, someone, someone open the door. Beep, why, why are you sneaking, buddy? Uh, beep, open the door. Two ones, go right up to the door, jump straight inside. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Get inside. Someone lock the door behind us. Please and thank you. Okay. Uh, boop, buddy, chill. Alright. Two ones. You diddly darn did it. I'm so proud of you. Let's go up here and uh, just chuck all of this inside. 
In fact, uh, I'm, I'm chucking everything inside so that people can just... The appropriate people can grab. Uh, in fact, this as well. Because you're going to use the big one. You're the only one I trust. You get the big one. Get in here. Uh, we're going to upgrade you to this big old shtick here. Be much better for bonking them boops, keeping them in line. Beep, you are in charge of discipline for the boops, okay? And they've been just going crazy, popping outside without me even knowing. We keep the door locked. I don't know how they're doing it. You need to be more aggressive with the discipline, okay, bud? Okay. Hmm. This boop looks respectable. You know what? You're being promoted from the unwashed masses. You can be you can be literate. I don't care. Do do the science. Now boop. Get to science and in the last video, yours was Sabali set an absolutely audacious goal of 250 likes and sadly uh, you guys smashed that to bits. And now I'm stuck doing more of this, but but here's the curveball. 250 Happy little thumbs up down below this one, or Dr. Boop over there, instead of researching the next hive video, is gonna start researching your IP address.